Here's a quick little video talking about hybrid picking, how it started and how it evolved throughout my playing life. I got interested in it many years ago when my brother bought the Black Sabbath album, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, and there was a song on there called Spiral Architect. Tony Iommi did a beautiful acoustic guitar intro, which uh, went like this. <laughs> As you can see, I'm using the pick and all three of my remaining fingers. So it was kind of funny. The first two fingers came in pretty naturally, but so it was <laughs> kind of went like this. Now, I think Tony obviously played this with his thumb and these three fingers, these three fingers, uh, in a classical guitar style, but I couldn't see that. Back in those days, there was no YouTube, so I couldn't tell. And I'd only ever played with a flat pick, so I assumed he was using the other three fingers. And thus began a long journey of trying to teach these fingers, particularly this stubborn guy, to play Leo Kotke songs and Jimmy Page acoustic pieces and all the rest of it. Uh, this middle finger started to come into play with my lead guitar playing, taking the place of an upstroke a lot of the time with just phrases like... <laughs> like that there was a Richie Blackmore lick that uh, uh, I think Richie did something like I would modify that to sound like there are other little other licks that came into play such as the a lot of groupings of five things like this that ended up on the Nelson album, actually. It ended the solo in a song called Bits and Pieces. And I think the solo was in, uh, in C and then ended on a, a D7. I think I played a phrase like... You can also change that to uh, work like this. that there was always facility in this fourth finger and I was using it a lot to play things that would uh... I don't think I really started exploiting it until 1988 when I saw Frank Ambali's first instructional video that was the thing that really just blew my head off my shoulders but it wasn't what Frank was doing with the right hand it was what he was doing with the left hand and the way he was organizing the lines that he was playing on the neck when I saw what he was doing there to accommodate his sweep picking ideas I wondered if I could do the same thing with the finger picking I started with the simplest thing I could think of which was a C major 7 arpeggio and I thought well can I roll it up yep can I do it back down again yep can I reverse it and I was off. I thought, okay, so I've got that. Now I've just got to come up with some ideas. And I, I consciously stayed away from copying Frank because I didn't want to do that. And I just wanted to accept the influence, but I didn't want to end up uh, stealing Frank's ideas. And I just started looking at uh, these angles and how I could uh, incorporate them. One of the best angles I came up with, of course, was this. Now it's a dominant idea. And there's the other angle. There they are combined. This was a good one. Now I would combine sweep picking with this idea and do it. I've seen a few other people claim that they invented this leak. Um, they're a lot younger than me, so they must have also invented a time machine because I was doing this lick in 1989, and in fact it ended up on the Centrifugal Funk album, which we recorded in 1990. didn't actually come out until 1991, but there you go. What I eventually did, of course, was try to break this down to the point where I combined it with the legato style, the Alan Holdsworth influence and the four notes per string and all that sort of stuff, to where I had this beautiful blend of Alan's ideas and Frank's ideas, which I've sort of mishmashed, hopefully, into my own ideas. <laughs> that kind of stuff 
There's so many ideas you can incorporate with this little technique. Try using the pick and two fingers and incorporate a pull-off so you get this. Try diminished. You can turn that into a whole tone. So anyway, there's a quick little overview of how I got hybrid picking incorporated into my style. And like I said, the person that really helped solidify the whole thing and lead me to a ton of different ideas was Frank Ambali. So thanks, Frank.